Yo, what's poppin'? This is Lethal Bizzle. Check out the Hip Hop Chronicle UK. Done now. Dench! They're like who's in the rhythm uh, Only real top grand dogs I'ma get in yeah. I think only what fame's in the rhythm yeah. Forward, reload, that's what I'm digging And get my team in creep for the hood Chilling, uh, go like a quick pretty thing Women, yeah. trying to get a bill, get money Swimming, yeah. I'm doing same boat and the rhythm Lethal, lethal, bizzle Yo. Bizzle, bizzle, dench, Mr. Dench, dench. dench. What's going on? It's going popping, it's all good man Four albums man Yeah, I'm on my fourth album now man it's What's good. wrong with you man? When you first came out with oil, the more fire and all that Now it's... Yeah. Four albums, the longevity. Look, you have to salute longevity because that, I think, for an artist, a music artist, that's the most difficult thing mm. to attain. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. I definitely agree with that. It's not been easy. Yep. It's not been easy, but I think what's helped me along the way that's made it fun is just the passion. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I enjoy what I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, and I've managed to sustain an audience that appreciates me doing what I want to do. You know what I mean? And not having to adapt to you know what's in right now you yeah know, i just want to do the music that i feel good doing you know which is probably helping me and that's important stuff. because your fans have gone with you no matter what genre of music you pick because you're not yeah. stuck to one genre Definitely. you've you've become a musician in that sense definitely. you 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 don't really I, th I think you cross genres which is important no definitely definitely so, i think it's important as an artist you know what i mean to you know don't limit yourself yeah Everyone knows i'm from the grime scene Everyone yes knows you know I mean, that's, that's, my, that's my first love, that's what made me who I am, you yeah. know, but again, I'm a music lover, I'm a music fan, you know, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a normal person, I like different things, you know, I want to try different things, I want to experiment, you know, and that's what I do in my artistry and try to see what I can come up with for different people. <laughs> Mind spinning. Yeah. So the women, I tell you what, the women make me, they make my mind spinning. Mm, What's wrong with these women, Bizzle? I don't know, man. They just get in my head gas spinning. Like, I know. We love spinning. them so much, but this is how they do that's wrong. Yeah, they just be like, you know, they be all smiling in your face and really they're just gonna give you an elbow drop. That's oh like like the Randy Savage, you know, the ones. tap tap on the elbow just and stone, then the drop. Stone, 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 like, oh the rock bottom, that's RKO. not good. You know what I'm saying? No, even look it, just out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do that to us? In your experience, you you know you're a mature guy, intelligent guy. Give me some knowledge here. No, man, it, you know what I mean. Like my boy said, never fall for a pretty smile on a big bum. It's very true. Why are they deceiving? Very deceiving. You get distracted on what's really going on. You just start focusing and thinking, yeah, this is like heaven. This is amazing. And then she just go in your room and take ten million pounds out of your dresser and so... drive off with Wiley. And <laughs> what happened? I, 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 I'm going to say it straight. She shouldn't have driven off a Wiley. She you know what I mean? She just took my money. And, you know That's I mean? terrible. Saw, that was hard. I, that was hard. I was painful like, for me to see. You know what I mean? Like, you saw the Power 2011 video, yep. you know, how long it took to get me, get rid of the police. And, you know what I mean? I come home with my big bag of money, thinking I'd find the prettiest girl ever. And she just takes my money. And then, of all people, Wiley picks her up. That's and terrible. She That's terrible. She should come with me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I got the like the website and the blog and the videos and I can make her yeah, a start. Yeah, Plus, my name I is. I find you, that's the thing. Yeah, that would be cool. But yeah, but hold on, hold on to hold. This is the best one. Cool. My name is Summit, right? And people say Summit. So I say, I'll take you to the top of the world, baby. So, oh, okay, okay. So I could have taken okay, her to the okay, top okay. of the world. Okay. You so don't you know? Maybe they need the money there. So maybe I could just find you and just get the money and then you just take her. Do that like that. See, that's what Nicki Minaj did to me. She got big bum, nice smile. She took all my money. See? And now, so, I'm, now I'm a broke blogger. See, that's it's, it's all the big bum pretty girl faces. I know it's see? terrible. You've been in the game for ten years, not to make you sound old because you're Damn, not. Ten years. I'm still in my twenties, so I'm good. See, you're good. I'm you know, good. you I'm ain't forty good. like <clears throat> some people. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> so you're doing your thing, but in the ten years that you've been in this game, mm. uh, it sometimes can be very dirty. What's the biggest thing you've learned about not only your artistry but personally about yourself? Um. I think the most important thing is just remembering that you're just a normal human being, right. you know. Um, and obviously, I had, I've had a humble upbringing anyway. You know, mm. I was fed with no silver spirit. I'm from like East London, Walthamstow, you know. You know, I mean, my parents are from Ghana, you mm. know, so I'm from a working class family. So that's just within me. And, but I think what's really made me just, you know, just who I am today is definitely the upbringing, you know, being humble, yeah. you know, and just treating everyone how you want to be treated. You Love know, I, I don't really feel like because 
either success or whatever that I should be treated in a certain way. It's just it's a normal person like you lot, man. This is just like a job I love doing. That you know, I don't, yeah, it's just you know what I mean. I'm just normal, man. I'm just here. I'm just. You just here making good records. Yeah, trying, man, trying. No, it's good. It's it's good to have that. I think it's always good to have that attitude because no, it keeps definitely. you grounded. No, it, it, it definitely it is definitely about not getting gassed in, in your hype, you know. And definitely, like I've been long around, I've been around long enough to know, you know, the hype is just hype. You yeah, know what I mean, and it doesn't, you know, what I mean, it may it may get you it might it may get you certain places, but it never lasts forever. You know, what I mean, it's all about just utilizing the hype to your best of your ability, but never abuse your hype or never abuse your power, shall I say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I think um, abusing your power will definitely come back to haunt you later on in life, man. Definitely karma. Let me ask you this then. What's the legacy you want to leave as an artist? Because if you said to me, you want Alf Camry said, yeah, I'd love to do 10 albums. I'm sure you'll get there. Yeah. So what's the legacy you want to leave? Wow, that's a good question, man. I ain't even thinking that far ahead, man. <laughs> I don't even know, it's crazy, like, oh. I don't know, you know, me personally, my thing is always, not even like in a cocky way, I've always wanted to help others. Right. You know, I've always wanted to open doors, you know. Um, you know, just try to help the next guy coming through, you know, leave a platform for them. And, you know what I mean? I just want to be maybe remembered as one of those guys who open the doors for what's going on right now. And obviously try to get to 10 albums as well. That'd be amazing. Um, but again, just being remembered as one of those, you know, one of the main players that, you know, helped start this whole movement, you know, yeah. this whole, this whole urban, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's, it's finally being accepted, you know, 10 years after it's been around for everyone knows what's going on but you know if you go back into the archives you start mm. seeing you know good records being made for a long time ago so mm -hmm. so yeah like you know definitely getting to the 10 mark in the albums and just being remembered as one of the pioneers man of you know who started this thing man. the album you got a title for it i haven't man all the, all the twitter fans are telling me to call it dench but i don't know if i'm gonna no 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 see there's see i'm gonna give you some advice i might have right. a song called dench on there yeah yeah, or, or like a dense skit. Yeah, where you're, yeah, 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 you're being yeah, yeah. dense, but don't yeah, call it yeah, dense. I can't call it dense. Because no, I, I haven't thought of the album yet. Okay. Title yet, but um, but I'm in. I'm like halfway through it. Okay. Um, it's feeling good, you know. And like, I probably, I don't know. It's it's weird because I don't know if I've had this much support on a record in my whole career. Even though I've been along. Really? I don't think I have. It's funny. People don't realize like a lot of my records have just been charted through People Power and the clubs. Like, up until maybe my second album, I've got like a playlist, but now it's like, I'm on Radio 1, I'm on One Extra, I'm on Choice. Like, this is like, new to me. I've been in the game for 10 years, and I've been lucky to have chart success, but a lot of it is just because the music's just been powerful and people are connecting to the music. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a good position to be in, to be fair. A real good position. What's this um, album gonna say about you? What's this album gonna say about me? I think it's definitely going to show a maturer side to me. I think even chaps that are mind spinning, yeah. even where I'm, I'm approaching that, talking about a girl and, you know, opening up in certain different ways. I've never really kind of done that in the yeah, past. And I've true. always wanted to try and cap, like capitalise on, you know, that angle I've missed, especially like the female fans and stuff. But do it in a way where it's not like I'm trying to sell out because I want to go number one. No, right, right, right. man, we love girls, innit? So, like, I wanted to just get a record to express ourselves. You know, like how we feel about it in the right way, though. And I think mine's been in yeah. kind of perfect for me. So you're definitely going to see a mature side. You know, um, I definitely want to be kicking some knowledge on them, and you know how I've been here for this long, and you know, trying to like how to sustain your your, your, your career and stuff. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think it's 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 good times, man. I'm in a good place, to be fair. You know, it's a it's a good time just knowing you know the the, the longevity. Who knew that like, ten years later down the line I'll be here you know, on Radio 1, still, so, so it's a good feeling, man. The ladies, they respond to you well? Yeah, that's the thing, like, I'll be getting the ladies love a little bit, man, they, they, they're feeling the kid a bit still. <laughs> Kim coming his hair, like, you know, you know, I'm saying, like, you know, I'm trying saying. to go to the gym for them, trying to get the six pack right for them. Oh, I got you, I got you. So, but, um, so yeah, so, uh, and Mind Spinning has definitely helped me, you know, get them on my side as well, so I want to be trying to maybe do a, one or two more. I'll actually, I want to do a lady. I want to do a ladies EP or something like a ah, L, L Cool J sort of thing. Like just like an EP, maybe it's like a five track just for them. Like, that is interesting. That, that is the reason why I say that is if you bring me in, 
Oh. Give me some ladies. Yeah. I like to call them recycle bitches. Okay, you give me some okay. recycle bitches, we're good. Oh, we can all go sign up still. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't get the ladies. But if you get them for me and say, that's my man right there, I'm good. Yeah, you bring the camera as well. You might need it. Yeah, but I don't, I, I don't I feel comfortable with the camera. Nah, you be cool. For you, you're all right. You're dense, right? But yeah, for me, yeah, I ain't. Nah, don't worry, man. You be cool. That'll be, excuse, that'll be your excuse in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work with Ah, oh, see, now so I like that. See, work. that's what I need. So Biz will bring me yeah, along. Yeah, my camera boy, man. my boy, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've got the, you know, nice, I've got the beard and the hair. Shaped up, fresh, swagger, stush up. Yeah. Dench. Love it. Love it. All right.